Hey, what's going on guys? This is Michael Rankin from Mikey Joe Fit, and I really wanted to put together a video series for you guys for developing a bulletproof mind. When you have setbacks or you're trying to reach a new level in your life, I really believe that it's going to be your mind that's going to fail first. It's going to cause you to give up. And success leaves clues. So who's a good person to teach you how to develop this bulletproof mindset? And guys, we're actually lucky enough to have three-time Olympia competitor, all-around badass, and one of the most mentally strong individuals I've ever met, Chris Dim, join us today. So Chris, how you doing, brother? Doing great, man. Hey, thanks for having, uh, having me on the show. You know, I really appreciate it. Um, you know, going back to my story a little bit about where I started from, where I'm going, what I plan on doing from here on out. Um, I started wrestling as a 98 pound weakling and I went and basically never thought I was going to be a bodybuilder. I kind of just did it for wrestling, try to get stronger. And it went from there and did my first show and been hooked up and, and caught the bug ever since. And then from there, did extremely well. Uh, when I was 30 years old, 2003, I turned pro. And from there, it just kind of took off right away the first year. First show, I qualified for the Mr. Olympia right off the bat. So I didn't, I didn't have a lot of time as far as, uh, uh, as, far as uh, gapping that as far as once I turned pro. But at the same time, uh, it, it kind of just happened so fast that you know next thing i know i was on the mr olympia stage and going you know what i i i worked for this all my life and here i am on the mr olympia stage you know where it's going to go with this and did extremely well in 2007 another setback happened uh, i had a order dissection with a 10 percent chance to live um they didn't think i was going to live they said if i was going to live i was going to wake up with brain damage or brain damage and paralysis put together of course you know woke up Walking a point A to point B, I was out of breath. I had to retrain myself all over again to basically just to, to get on the treadmill, picking up the three pound weights, and and you know having a patience of coming back. And you know, next thing you know, um, I, I I started getting really fast gains, and muscle memory started coming right back. And I wasn't ready to end my career like that. 2009, I came back and you know did my first pro show again, and then requalified for the third Mr. Olympia. And right after that, in, in 2009, um, I did the Sacramento Pro with, the, with all the big boys. They didn't have the 2, 212 or 202 <laughs> back then, guys. It was the open show, and we had about 28 guys at the pro show, and I took fourth next to all the big freaks. <laughs> but, um, you know, and then right after that, I, I went back and looked at my rest of my order, and they found that it started to expand, so we needed to do something about it. Fixed it, and got on to another surgery, and it went well, and next thing you know, in 2012, guess what? Another setback again. We're going to have these setbacks, guys. You know what? You just got to be ready for the punch. Get ready for it because they're coming. It's just what are you going to do with those setbacks? And I had another, another surgery because my stent didn't hold up, and the blood flow was going around the stent instead of through the stent. So next thing you know, once I went in, woke up, guess what? My legs. Did not expect that at all. I never thought I was going to be in a wheelchair. And the doctor came in and said, you know what, uh, Mr. Dim, we had an accident. There's a chance you'll never be able to walk again. Try to feel my legs, try to feel my toes, try to move everything. Nothing moved. Imagine looking at the clock and trying to move the clock with your eyes. That's what my leg felt like. I couldn't move anything. And next thing you know, I made a commitment and I told myself, you know what, the heck with what the doctor said. The heck with... 0.02% or whatever it is that I'm never going to walk again. You know what? Everything is all about here. It's about setting yourself a goal and setting yourself in your mind and say, you know what? I'm going to do it. No matter if the world does not believe in me, I believe in myself. And we came back and we started working on it. And ever since then, I'm still working on it ever since. Not willing to give up, not willing to quit until I'm walking again. And you know what? I guess I'll die trying because I'm never going to quit. How was that, guys, huh? I get fired. I mean, I'm just sitting here. I get all fired up just thinking about it. So, hey, Chris, thanks for sharing your story, brother. And uh, these upcoming videos, guys, you know, what is a bulletproof mindset? He touched on it a little bit. You know, we're going to teach you how to develop that mindset. And if you can develop half of the mindset this guy has, you're going to be able to achieve anything you want in life, guys. Hey, guys, make sure to like, comment, and share this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, check out my Facebook fan page of Mikey Joe Fit. I'm going to post Chris's website in the description box below. 
Make sure you check that out, guys. It's got a bio on there. I think it's like a five-minute video he's got on there. He fired me up this morning. So make sure to check that out, and uh, see you guys soon. Yeah, get it. Get it! <laughs>